Hello brothers, hello men in Christ. This is a privilege to, to share the word of God with you today. And our topic is wisdom. So what is wisdom? Proverbs chapter 4 verse 3 to 9 says this. When I was a son with my father, tender, the only one in the sight of my mother, he taught me and said to me, let your heart hold fast my words, keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom, get insight. Do not forget and do not turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her and she will keep you. Love her and she will guard you. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom and whatever you get, get insight. Prize her highly and she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. She will place on your head a graceful garland. She will bestow on you a beautiful crown. There is nothing more valuable than wisdom. You can have all the money in the world, but without wisdom, you are just going to waste it. You can have the knowledge of many sciences, but without wisdom, you are going to use it to do evil. You can be healthy and strong, but without wisdom, you are going to waste your life. Proverbs 16.16 16 says this, How much better to get wisdom than gold? To get insight rather than silver. And yes, nothing is more valuable than wisdom. And as men, we need it urgently because we are so unwise and stubborn by nature. We need wisdom to be good husbands, we need wisdom to be good fathers, we need wisdom to direct our families. We need wisdom to make good decisions because we make decisions every day that will affect our lives and the lives of our family forever. We really need wisdom to live a better life in this fallen world. So where can we find wisdom? Nowadays men are looking for wisdom everywhere except where it is really found. Heraclitus of Ephesus, an ancient Greek philosopher, said this, Abundance of knowledge does not teach a man to be wise. Wisdom is not in the universities or in secular books or in the stars or in the constellations. True wisdom is found in the word of God. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 says this, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So this is the first step to find wisdom. We must fear the Lord. Fear in this context is not the fear one has of an enemy or something scary. Rather it is honor and love for the Lord and such fear is manifested in reverence and respect. When we respect someone who has authority over us, we behave, don't we? We don't want to be told off. It is not that we fear that person because he is scary. We fear him because he has authority and we want to show our respect. That is the same with God. He is the owner of everything. He is God. We fear him because he has authority and we want to show our respect. And this is the beginning of wisdom. If you want a good life for you and your family and you want to avoid evil, then you must fear the Lord respect and honor the Lord. So, 
since the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, the surest way to become wise is to pursue the knowledge of God. As we come to know more about Him, we, eh, the foundation for wisdom becomes firmer in our lives and we grow in our ability to discern things according to His revealed truth and therefore we take good decisions. We come to know the Lord mainly through the prayerful reading and the study of His Word, the Bible. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6 says this, For the Lord gives wisdom, from His mouth come knowledge and understanding. If you want to be wise, you must know the God of Scripture. We need to read the Bible to know God better. There are no shortcuts. The Bible is our manual of how to live this life wisely. In Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 says this, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Men who don't want to know God are fools and despise wisdom. We don't want to be those men, brothers. We want to be blessed by God and then bless our families with our actions and decisions. We need to apply what we read in Scripture as well. It is not just about reading or listening. James chapter 3 verse 13 says this, Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. Wisdom is the application of the biblical truth. That application is our responsibility. In Proverbs chapter 1 verses 20 to 27, wisdom claims for us and also wisdom is warning us of the consequences of not having it. And let me read it for you. Wisdom calls out in the street. She shouts loudly in the plazas. At the head of the noisy streets, she calls. In the entrances of the gates in the city, she utters her words. How long will you simpletons love naivete? How long have you mockers delighted in mockery? How long will fools hate knowledge? You should respond to my rebuke. Then I would pour out my thoughts to you. I would make my words known to you. However, verse 24, However, because I called you, because I called, but you refused to listen. Because I stretched out my hand, but no one was paying attention. And you neglected all my advice and did not comply with my rebuke. So I myself will laugh when disaster strikes you. I will mock when what you dread comes. When what you dread comes like a tornado and disaster strikes you like a devastating storm, when distressing troubles comes on you. Brothers, having wisdom is not a piece of luxury. Having wisdom is priority. We must look for wisdom desperately. And there is no excuse. James chapter 1 verse 5 says this, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. We have no justification, brothers. We must ask our loving Father for wisdom and He will give it generously. May God 
keep you and strengthen you and give you wisdom. Have a blessed day.